In this video, we'll cover the basics of configuring the DevExtreme Tree View widget. The Tree View widget allows you to display a hierarchical collection of items in a traditional tree structure. Nodes in the Tree View can be expanded and collapsed to display other sub-items. Like any widget from the DevExtreme library, the Tree View widget can be added using the jQuery, AngularJS, or Knockout approach. Here, I'm using the jQuery approach. I've already created a simple web page and added references to the following libraries, jQuery, Globalize, and WebAppJS. I've also referenced DevExtreme styles that correspond to the light theme. Now we need to add the Tree View widget to a page and set up a data source for it. I've already prepared an array of objects representing hierarchical Tree View data. Each data item has a key field whose value is unique within the entire array. By default, the widget uses the ID field as a key. Let's assign this array to the widget's data source configuration option. And let's see how the tree view looks with the specified data and default settings. The tree view widget can also use an array that has a plane structure. I've prepared another array of objects representing plain tree view data. Each data item contains the parent ID field, which holds the key value of the parent item. Let's change the data source configuration option and assign plain to the data structure option to use a plain array as the data source. And let's see the result. All right, now let's add user interactive capabilities for the tree view. To allow end users to select items, I'll enable a checked box for each item. To do this, set the show checkboxes option to true. All right, let's see how selection works. By default, the widget selects all child nodes when selecting the parent node and deselects child nodes when deselecting the parent node. If only several subnodes are selected, the parent node takes the intermediate state. If you wish to select a single node per time, set the Select Nodes Recursive option to False. And let's see the result. Finally, let's show the alert message when clicking a Tree View checkbox. To do this, I'll define a function for the onItemSelected option. To access the current item object, use the item data field of the function's parameter. And as you can see, we can now get information about an item when clicking it. Then you can use it to navigate to another page. And that's it. To learn more about the elements of the Tree View widget and how to customize it, please refer to the documentation on our website. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.